Hello, my name is Jonathan and I work on the data governance team here at Chimura. Today I'm going to show you how job CQ data was used in the Bloomberg article, the booming US recovery is leaving some communities completely behind. In this article, they used our job posting data to identify what share of job posts in 2020 were from majority Hispanic occupations in the Houston metro area. If you wanted to recreate this analysis for your region, you would use the following two analytics. One, the occupation characteristics analytic to identify which occupations are majority Hispanic. And two, either the occupation snapshot analytic or the RTI analytic to identify what share of job postings are from those majority Hispanic occupations. Okay, let me show you how you would do this in JobCQ real quick. Come to the search bar, type in occupation characteristics, That will give us, then we'll open that analytic there. Then we'll open up the right hand query window. And then we'll change the display type to table. And then change the region to the Houston metro area. And then the category to ethnicity and the SOC level to the six digit level. And we'll choose to show these data as percentages. So what you'll see in this table is uh, each occupation and the percent of workers that are Hispanic. And to see which occupations have the most Hispanic workers, we're going to want to sort this table by clicking uh, this column title here, Hispanic or Latino of any race. So click that. And then we're going to want to create a custom occupation group of all the occupations that have 50% or more Hispanic workers. So we'll scroll down to find that 50% point right there, click this box there, and scroll back to the top of the table, hold down the shift button and click that box there. Then we'll click create group, give our custom occupation group a name. And save it. All right, next step is to identify what share of job posts came from those majority Hispanic uh, occupations that we just identified. To do that, we can use either the Occupation Snapshot Analytic or the RTI Job Posting Analytic. We'll use the Occupation Snapshot one first. So then we'll open up our right-hand query window, see that we're opening, uh, we're looking up data for the Houston metro area, and then we're using that custom occupation group that we just created. Scroll down to the bottom of the table, and what you'll see here in this online job ads column is that we had about 17,000 job posts from those majority Hispanic occupations. And that's out of a total of about 150,000 job posts there. And these job posts, uh, this is from a sampling of job posts that were active at some point in the last 30 days. Um, so there's your share there. And then if you come to this first column, you can see that we had about 579,750 workers working in these majority Hispanic occupations. And that's out of a total of about 3 million in the Houston metro area. So that's how you would use the occupation snapshot analytic to conduct the analysis. If you want to use the RTI analytic, come back up here, type in RTI, open the analytic. And when you use the RTI analytic, you have sort of more uh, flexibility around the time frame you can look at job posting data from. So we can switch this time frame to 2020. And you can see there is about 601,650 job posts active in that in the year 2020 in the Houston metro area. And to see how many of those job posts were uh, from those majority Hispanic occupations that we identified earlier, you could add a occupation category filter. And you can see that 71,208 job posts uh, were from those majority Hispanic occupations that we identified earlier. So that's how you'd use the RTI analytic to connect the analysis, conduct the analysis. Um, so that's how they compiled the data from Jobs EQ for the Bloomberg piece. The booming U.S. recovery is leaving some communities completely behind. This concludes our video. Thank you.